did you see the new uh, Pirate Yakuza trailer? No. Uh, it has uh, Black Flag's boat combat in it. Yes. <laughs> Here, let me let me go. Oh, get let's go. <laughs> and shanties. I don't know about shanties. I don't know about that. Um, I thought I heard a shanty. Uh, they uh, they put out a a tweet. Um, uh, the Like a Dragon guys put out a tweet that just said Ah. A A A A quadruple A. Quit your yawning and come on, let's go pirating. And it looks like they're try they're they're in making fun of um skull, and, skull bones. and bones. The first quadruple A video game, if you remember. <laughs> oh god damn. Yeah, it. here you go. Here's the timestamp for uh for naval combat let's take in look. Pirate Yakuza in Hawaii okay um it really just literally is black flags explicit gameplay well look man like, the way that it looks the way that it controls the way that it shoots the way that you board someone needs to save naval combat from ubisoft before that ship goes down so like making fun of ubisoft is fun but also Ah, yeah, there oh, you no, go. Oh, no, we're dead. We're dead. Oh, no, hold on. Everything crashed. Okay, Twitch has been acting up. Um, okay, last... thank God it's not just me, man. So, no, because we're online here. Uh, we're continuing, like, everything's green on this. But Twitch... I can't see you. You're frozen for me. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I have seen... I have, I've had two issues with Twitch in the last uh last day or so um, yeah okay well i have i've had an issue where if i alt tab out of um or is our audio still up yeah oh, we're, they can yeah hear yeah, us? yeah we're going we're oh, alive thank god i didn't take my dick out oh geez your audio dick yes ah oh, penis um i've been having this fun thing where when i alt tab out of metaphor it crashes obs somehow <laughs> weird okay huh um yeah, no, that's 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 great. Just get whatever. Hey, pirate whatever features you can off of the Ubisoft ship <laughs> and stick it on but your like, own. Like it took 13 years to put out Skull and Bones and these guys whipped this out and like it did they didn't do it in 13 months. They did it in like probably 2 years or 2 and a half years. But like the the workflow on these fucking like a dragon guys is second to none, man. Yeah, I, like so I, I it's incredible. I'm not a fan of the twelve month sequel turnaround. Like I always like that's always they're great. Yeah, historically, <laughs> just a rough way to go. Um, or you eventually like KOF it and realize, yeah, this is bad for the long run. They've been speeding up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you realize that. If you look at the dates, oh man, like that, like not only is it one a year now, they are speeding up. Sometimes it's two a year. I yeah, I I I, I don't, I don't want this uh, KOF they, and they, and Kotor two timeline. They used to be on an 18 month cycle and now they're down to like 14 months. And they come out on computer. Well, that's... it's crazy. Man, I, I can't wait for uh uh a character to to jump on Majima's ship called Johnner. <laughs> and just and just be, you know, just be a scallywag. He's, he's, Honestly, he's a trusty crew. I, I wouldn't even be surprised. I like, I genuinely, they could do anything. Um, so not so. The only times that Yakuza games or like a Dragon games took like a long time to come out, Ken, Ken Ward is, Edway, <laughs> is when they would um massively increase like the fidelity right mm -hmm. so when they went from ps2 to ps3 okay that took a while when they went from ps3 to ps4 that took a while when they made like a dragon and they did the yokohama stuff that took a while but um 
once they have those areas and they're happy with the way it looks, yeah, boom, 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 over and over and over and over. So I guess the the next generation Yakuza game is the one where you can get on a plane from Hawaii back to Japan and then and then go to, to Sotenbori as well. So like they're showing off that Majima is doing a pirate Yakuza in Hawaii and they're showing off all this like Hawaii shit. I would be astonished if you did not go back to Kamurocho or Yokohama in this game at some point. But if you, what if you did, and graphically everything just looked older? <laughs> no, it would it would look exactly the same way it looks like in uh, Infinite Wealth and um, and uh, yeah, like okay, Dragon. just same same asset. Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's no there's no need to change it. Why change it? Why would you it's, ever change it? It's already it? made. Yeah. Cool. I I foresee like the fidelity of these these locations is actually really really high right now. I. I foresee them actually not like upgrading like the engine and all that for a while. I think they're going to ride this one out for like five more games. I mean, you said that that the Dodongo Island or whatever had every single old asset. It had it had PS right? Wooly, it had the texture <laughs> from Yakuza 1 on PS2 from where Dojima gets shot against the wall in the cutscene. They have absolutely it's all kept in it. there. It's they all have kept in every there. Every asset they have ever made. Man. And when you see it in the Dongo Island, it's like not only have they kept every asset they've ever made, they've kept it in such a way that they can just insert it into the new versions of the engine. Man. Those that shit is available. Remember when when like Japanese devs just lost game code, <laughs> just, just just misplaced Wooly. the builds. <laughs> Be honest. Mm -hmm. When you say lost, you mean destroyed, right? <laughs> um, what was the word I saw this week? Uh, abandoned. Was it? I think it was like abandoned, uh, um, pro like property or something to that word. Though, anyway, I forget what the word. Abandonware? Was. Uh, no, not abandonware. It was like it was Square Enix has like over a hundred and thirty million dollars in, um, up up something. It was a a bad like just shit that is just gone like spent money that's gone abandoned um whatever you know development. I, yeah, whatever. yeah, like something like that. You know. Anyway. Um, yeah, or like, hey, the, the SNK, just like, like, and Sam Show 64, who the fuck knows where that ended up? It's gone. It's, uh, it's, uh, Silent Hill 2, famously. Just, where did that, it's where gone. did it go? <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. the strangest thing about Silent Hill 2 is that Konami lost the gold master and everything to do with it, but had a non-finished beta version lying around. That must have been on a guy's computer. Yes. It's like, just... I kept it. I was working out on it at home. Left the disc in the machine and then like for, just never ejected it from the dev kit. And then bam, we've got a build from a, from a million years ago. Yeah. So those of you who don't know what the term gone gold means, it means that when you're making your video game and it's going to be pressed to a disc, the company makes a actual literal gold master copy to be sent off to the factory which is occasionally really funny if they if they press the wrong version of the game um but you're also supposed to take that gold master and fucking put it somewhere mm -hmm. um i mean you go from your release candidates and and such to your after after submission at the very least anyway but and i mean obviously it's different now but like yeah there's just this era of um pre-mastering which is the entire process of like putting this stuff on discs and getting it out to the team and everything we're like <coughs> entire games are just gone completely just they just evaporated everyone the only place they exist is in emulated states <laughs> and you know this uh, because when nintendo or microsoft or sega or whoever puts out an emulation collection or whatever the fuck and if you dig deep enough you find out half the time that they got that shit off a rom website yeah. <laughs> because that's the only place that fucking shit lives oh man 
the the original fucking uh uh like last blade uh, uh, uh pc edition and you're just like that's the fucking neo geo bio zip file what are you I doing can see it. you took I can open up the file i can see <laughs> you it. downloaded that copy of last blade from a spanish website with where with juarez on it and, and you went you know and you fucking you dropped it online and sold it you, you or, or that um was it cooking mama that was using like i think like visual boy advance like some shit then like there's just things where like oh yeah nintendo like they were using actual emulator like code in their in their official releases I am, as well i am so certain that bloodborne is lost <sighs> like you think I don't it's, have you think any, it's just gone from existence i don't have any proof oh, i don't have God. any details <laughs> But like no. I can feel it no, in my gut. No, 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 no. That that Bloodborne is literally lost. No, man, not like this. And blue and blue point probably has has a remade copy that they're just saying, "Tell us when." You know. Well, uh, blue blue point. Oh man, yeah. That, man, they already did that, it. They're like, "Hey guys, cool. hey guys, we did cool. it. Just tell us when. It's right here." You know? That would be the move. Like the Demon Souls mm -hmm. uh, PS5 is to just like, hey, here's Bloodborne PS5. Look, it's it's very fancy and it's very shiny. They made Demon Souls. They skipped the entire Dark Souls series <laughs> and just made Bloodborne. And we're waiting. We're waiting for Sony to say yes, go.